Good morning, sixth graders. Happy Monday, April 27th, 2020. We are on our sixth week of remote learning. So before I jump into the lesson today, I thought I would just share with you um, a walk that I did this weekend on Saturday. It was absolutely gorgeous on Saturday. I hope you were able to get outside and enjoy that weather too. So we went out to Barnhart and we started at the pavilion and we walked all the way down through the by the beach, through the campsites, all the way down to the beautiful pavilion that's at the end. And then we went all the way back. We walked on the road, which next time I go out there, I want to bring my rollerblades because that's probably the best rollerblading road I've ever seen. And then we went down to the bridge, my favorite bridge in Messina right there, and checked some things out there all the way back and back to the marina. So it was a fabulous walk. And... Hopefully you can see this on here. Can you see there was, I was up at top of the bridge and there was these deer down here. It was so cool to see them from there. So they camouflaged themselves in there trying to hide from me. There was one over there, but I don't think you can see it in the video. And there they go. We saw a ton of deer on that walk that day. Pretty cool. So there was that. Here's a picture from on the bridge. You can see the dam behind me. Um, and here's my favorite sign ever. You are now crossing the 45th parallel. It's an equal distance to the North Pole or the equator. So hopefully you guys have been out to Barnhart to see all of that. Um, just love it. It was such a great walk. It's my new favorite, I think. So now on to what we're doing this week. This week we are learning all about um, what it means to belong and what it means to feel like you're on the outside. It goes along beautifully with the read aloud that we're doing a refugee of these people that have to leave their homes and go to new countries where they maybe don't belong um, and they don't feel a connection. So this week, we will be doing lessons, articles on actively learn all about what it means to belong. So today's is about boundaries and connections. So today you're going to read a poem, Mending Wall by Robert Frost and answer the questions on actively learn and also watch a video on relationships and belonging and answer the questions. Office hours today, 11 to one, email, phone number, please just reach out if you have any questions. Miss Watson put a beautiful video in here, um, setting up the lesson for you and um, getting your brains revved up and in gear thinking about what you will be learning today. So make sure you watch this video, it's short. Check that out, then move on to this slide and you are going to click on the link for the correct team that you're in. Do those actively learned questions. I can see how long you took on them, so make sure you're reading and really thinking about it. And if it's a short answer question, remember to use correct grammar, capitalization, punctuation, and refer to the text in your response. Once you finish that article, go back to this link, watch the video, and do the same thing. You can get to the links from here or right here under the slideshow are the two links as well. Please mark them complete when you have finished them. So last time we did a read actively and there was two separate ones. Some of you only did one. So make sure that you do both the article um, and, well, actually it's not an article. It's a video and the poem, right? It is a poem, right? Yes. So after you do those, if you've watched the video, you've done your actively learned poem, and the video, then you can listen to chapters 13 and 14 of our Read Aloud Refugee and play the Kahoot. I'm excited to see um, Kahoot is always fun. Make sure you use your name in there somehow so I know that it was you that played to get credit. After that, the last thing you need to do, it is day two. So you need to get to that special class that you have. My class needs to go see Mr. Slack and get some physical education in. Miss LePage's class needs to go see Miss G and do some art. And Mrs. Converse's class gets to go see Miss Walton and um, do some music. 
All right, boys and girls, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. And I will see you back here tomorrow, same time, same place. Bye, guys.